Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can make lenses like these or the face inset lenses in Lens Studio. All of the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens are in the description down below. And yeah, let's create. I'm going to show how you can make this lens in two ways. One is by using a PNG image and second is by using a 3D object. You can skip to these time codes if you want to see a specific one. Let's first start easy with a PNG image. Here I have a PNG image of a cookie which I will be using in order to make this lens. You can find similar such images on multiple different websites for free. One of them include pngtree.com which is where I have found this image. Once you find your image, drag and drop it into the resources. Once the image is added into your resources, you can see it right here. Next, we are going to add the image to our face. To do that, go to Objects, Add New Object, go to Face Effects, then Face Image. Then, drag and drop this into Texture. You can see that the image is added on top of the face. Even if the person moves their head, the image will follow the face. But right now, the image is quite small. To change that, I'm going to go to scale, hit on uniform scale, and increase this to about 25. Now we have added our image on top of our face. Next thing that I want to do for this lens is to add the eyes and the mouth. To do that, go to objects, add new object, face effects, then face inset. You can see that our mouth is added. You can position this wherever you'd like on top of the screen. I'm going to click on face inset and click on control D on Windows and command D on a Mac to duplicate this. I'm going to use one of these as the eyes. To change this, go to face region and select the eye option. I'm going to duplicate this once more so that I can use the other eye. I'm going to change this to right eye. Now you can see that our cookie is added on top of the face, the face is being tracked and the eyes and the mouth are also added. What I like to do for these filters is to also add a background. To do that, go to Objects plus General Screen Image. I'm going to add the image of cookies. Add this into your resources. Then add this into the texture of screen image. I'm going to fill and cut this. But now our image is no longer on the screen. To change that, click on orthographic camera and change the render order. Put the orthographic camera on top of the camera. Now you can see that the face tracked image is on top of the screen. And yeah, this was how you can do this using images. If you want to make the same filter using a 3D object, you can do that as well. Find a 3D object that you want to use. Once you find a 3D object, make sure it's either an FBX file, OBJ file or a GLB file. Drag and drop your 3D object into your resources. You will get a pop-up like this. Click on import. Once the object is imported into our file, we now have to track this to the head. To do this, go to Objects, Add New Object, Face Effects, and Head Binding. Next, drag and drop your 3D object into Head Binding. If I zoom out, you can see that the 3D object is a little too big. To change the size of this, go to the Inspector panel, click on Uniform Scale, and change this to 10. Now, the object is getting cut off by the face. To change this, click on face occluder and delete it. The rotation of this object is wrong. To change this, click on your 3D object and rotate this. I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90. If you want to change this in a very specific degree, you can use the tools on top here. I'm going to use third tool, which is the move tool, in order to move this object right on top of our face. I'm also going to move this in front. We have now tracked 
our 3D object to the face. Now let's add the cutouts of our mouth and eyes. To do this, go to object, add new object, face effects and face inset. You can then position the face inset wherever you'd like it. I'm going to add one right here. Next, to add the eyes, I'm going to click on Ctrl D on Windows and Command D on a Mac to duplicate. Go to move this higher and change this to left eye. Similarly, I can duplicate this again, move it and change this to right eye. And yeah, this is how you can make the same lens using 3D objects. What I also like to do when I make these lenses is to add a background. To do that, go to Objects, Add New Object and Screen Image. Then go to Texture, Add, Import File and add the image you want. I'm going to use the image of cookies. Then I'm going to click on Fill and Cut so that this covers the entire screen. But now our object is no longer seen. To change that, click on Orthographic Camera, Render Order and move the orthographic camera above our camera. Now our lens works properly. And yeah, this was how you make a face inset lens in Lens Studio. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.